A supporter amongst the Parc de Prince crowd threw a banana at Richarlison during Brazil's friendly against Tunisia on Tuesday night. Given the events that transpired, it was hardly the friendliest of friendlies. Immediately after the game, both the Brazil Football Confederation and the players reacted to the incident. On the pitch, it was a very one-sided affair as Brazil romped home to a resounding 5-1 victory. But off the pitch, the atmosphere was febrile. Neymar and co were booed and whistled during their brief warm-up and those audible objections continued during the national anthem. Many of the Brazilians, including Marquinhos for example, were left bemused and frustrated by the unsavoury reaction of the crowd. But their dismay would be compounded by two serious events during the game. Firstly, as Richarlison wheeled away in celebration after scoring in the 19th minute, a banana was hurled in his direction. The Brazilian Confederation immediately condemned the incident that they believed was racially fueled. Richarlison, the target of the banana attack, also shared his thoughts on the shameful people. <laughs> Sei lá, eles possam reconhecer esse torcedor aí e punir ele. É, é difícil, né? A gente viu o caso do Vinícius Júnior aí recentemente e agora acontece isso dentro do, de, um, de um estádio. Então acho que esse cara ali possa, possa achar ele, possa ser punido. Agora que também que possa servir de, de lição também para as outras pessoas a não fazerem isso. The occasion was marred by a string of unsavory incidents, many plastic bottles and plastic cups being thrown and lighters also being launched every time Neymar was preparing to take a corner. Flares were let off and the excitement crescendoed after Talbi equalized for the Tunisians in the 18th minute. Optimism was short-lived, however, as the Brazilians soon took control again of the encounter. According to RMC Sports, onlookers witnessed fights breaking out amongst supporters in the dying minutes of the game. Lasers emanating from the Tunisian supporters were also visible throughout and were particularly prevalent when Neymar stepped up to take his penalty for the Selexial. Now, given that he was on home turf and didn't have to contend with Kylian Mbappe to take it, he slotted it home with consummate ease. Elsewhere in the Nations League, Spain and Portugal battled it out for that last spot in the top four. And it was a tight encounter in Braga, but ultimately Spain prevailed 1-0 winners. In the build-up, Fernando Santos conceded that he was expecting to come up against a well-oiled team. I expect to face the same Spain that has always existed. A good team, very skillful, with a lot of experienced players. Now, the Spanish players, and it's completely normal, come here to win, regardless of the circumstances. Spain don't know how to play for a draw. They play to win. That's how they're taught. The players want to show their people, their media, just how good they are. It's completely normal. If we say they're hurt, we hope they'll stay hurt. Now, truth be told, it wasn't the most vintage performance from Spain. Portugal, in fact, actually looked like the more dangerous side throughout, but they conceded late on after an onslaught by La Roja. Eventually, it was the much maligned Alvaro Morata who sealed a precious victory for the Spaniards, who in truth had felt that they had relinquished any chance of qualifying after their defeat to Switzerland on Saturday. Spain, who were beaten in the Nations League final by France last year, now have the chance to right those wrongs. So the four teams that will be battling it out for the Nations League title are now known. Croatia, they beat Austria 3-1, so they finished ahead of both Denmark and France. The Netherlands had already booked their place as well after a 1-0 win against Belgium on Sunday. And Italy complete the quartet after beating Hungary 2-0 on Monday. The winners will be crowned during the finals, which is set to take place in the Netherlands next June. So over to you guys now then, Croatia, Spain, Italy, and the Netherlands. Who do you think will win the Nations League? <laughs>